macOS Mojave had a few changes the last beta, so we're going to go hands on and see what those changes are. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider, and we've been a bit caught up lately covering the new MacBook Pros, so we wanted to get back and show you what's changed with macOS Mojave Beta 4. And first up is the dynamic backgrounds now work, at least in dark mode. Before they were working in light mode, now they work in dark mode as well. You can see a few of these different screenshots throughout the day that I was taking. You can see how it's changed. So here's almost around midnight. It's a very dark, really night landscape. Here's a little bit earlier in the evening, it's around 8 p.m. So it's going from something like this to a little bit darker during the night. And then in the morning, you can see the shadows are cast to the other side. And coming up towards midday, the shadows are a little bit lighter as it starts to even out and reach the brightest point. So the dynamic backgrounds are really nice and those do work now in dark mode. If we take a look at the actual system preferences for the desktop and screensaver, you can see we actually have it now split up into two distinct sections. Before it was one main category that covered all wallpapers. Now you can see there are two different sections, one for dynamic desktops and others for just standard desktop pictures. You can choose between either of the two dynamic backgrounds of which there is a new one that we didn't have before. This new background is called Solar Gradient and it's similar to what it sounds like. It has a really nice solar gradient that changes throughout the day. Here you can see a little preview of it, we're going to speed it up so it looks a little bit faster than what it actually would on your computer, but it goes between that warm orange and the blue based on your location and the time of day where you are. To be honest, solar gradient is a little bleak for me. There's not a lot going on. I definitely prefer the Mojave dynamic wallpaper and I'm really excited that it actually works now in the dark mode. macOS Mojave includes a brand new screen capture utility and that means the old grab tool has been retired and replaced with a new utility just called screenshot. This will just launch the new little overlay HUD that existed in macOS Mojave and the grab tool has been completely removed. Lastly, macOS Mojave Beta 4 brought support for the brand new 2018 MacBook Pros. On a quick note, I also wanted to highlight the fact that B&H is giving Apple Insider readers and viewers an exclusive discount code on the new MacBook Pros. So if you are interested in picking one of these guys up, you can find the link below in the description, but hurry, it does expire soon. Let us know what you think of all the changes down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.